Oh, fuck. Okay, got him. Um. Should have two level up point. and then oh, if I should level that up again I was going to have a chance of knocking down your target but does this have to be to live grenade in a person's or a level 6 perception one? I might get that actually. Might as well. The harder I am to track, the easier my job as a sniper is. You see that big blimp? What's the brotherhood of steel? Why are they my mic picking up so much feedback? 
like chill. Hi, Chen. I mean, uh, oh, wow. You're tall. Some, uh, okay. Look like Shin. Come on, Nikki. I'm just asking for your opinion. Wouldn't be a great quote. She's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a woman's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? You were right, Nick. Kellogg took my baby. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, the sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. Miss Perkins. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Yes. The only thing I'm ready for is danger and awesome. I'm afraid hard-earned caps is all we've got to offer, honey. Anyway, the client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. So is the fedora and trench coat mandatory when solving these cases? Because I'm thinking smoking pipe and British accent. Hey, whatever floats your boat, Gumshu. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. I don't really care about pissing off Nick in this playthrough because... I'm more of like, in this one I'm trying to make my character a sarcastic asshole so that Kate will have an affinity towards, towards her. File away. Well. Most I can do is go to Tim Pines Bluff and run.
Commit our friend, Blake, to the earth. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. May he find peace with the Lord. Amen. Would anyone like to say anything before we move on? Blake was a great guy and an even better friend. He was taken from us too soon. He won't be forgotten. Never Blake, seen this before. I hope you know how I felt about you. Even if I couldn't say it to your face. Now you're gone. It seems too late. But I love you. Marcus, do you have anything to say? This is stupid. People die every day. I don't understand why. Understand. <laughs> God, why did it have to be him, huh? Why wasn't it me? I'm the asshole of the group. I'm the one who had it coming, not him. Not Blake. I'm sorry, guys. I just... I miss him so much. We all miss him, Marcus. Never Who's seen that before. Best guy. That's completely new. I've never seen that. I swear, there's shit on this game on PC that just did not happen on console. Like, there's gotta be more scripts or something on PC than there was on console because I've never seen that. I've never seen, uh, some dialogue options that are in this game on PC that were on console. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm playing a different character, but I just... Through the head and out the ass. <laughs> Rip puppy. Did I say fusion core? Sweet. Four fucking fusion cores? Just showing off. I never thought. Heads up. Need something? Quit stalling. I need you to help me. Please. Anything you need, Kate. I was hoping you'd say that. We're friends now. Well, Which Kate. I can trust you with Kate's anything. my favorite character in the game. The got me back. Cause I need it now more than ever. I'm... I'm sick. And I don't think I can hide it from you anymore. Okay, calm down and take a deep breath. If you're sick, I want to help you. Believe me, I want your help. But I'm scared. I'm scared that you'll hear the truth and that I'll lose you as a friend. God, I'm making a hell of a mess of this. I didn't think it would be so tough. You'll never lose me as a friend. No matter what you say. Damn you for being so nice to me. I started this, so I suppose I need to finish it. Ever since I left home, I've been using Psycho. I don't know why I'm still taking that crap, but I can't stop. And believe me, I've tried. I can't even go a day without it anymore, and I'm fucking sick and tired of it. I've even been doing it behind your back. Sneaking doses when I think you aren't looking. Worst of all, it's been making me sick. I've been spitting blood and I don't feel right inside. I need to get this shite out of me system before I wind up dead. Tell me how we can clean you up. Well, there might be a way, but it's not going to be easy. There's supposed to be a vault somewhere out here. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Well, they supposedly had some special method to clean up those blokes in there. Some kind of a machine or something. If we could get inside, maybe that machine could help me. No problem. We'll get you there. I can't believe how kind you're being to me, even when I'm letting you down. Look, I don't want you to think I'm some kind of low-life junkie. A stupid girl who's harming herself for no good reason. From one friend to another, all I'm asking is for your help. When you're ready, take me out to Vault 95 and help me put an end to me pain. Alright. So there's Kate's mission. 
Right armor. Turret. Is it a turret? Oh yeah. There too. Should probably not be using that. I was just getting warmed up. Okay, that's my last clip of that, so I'm not gonna use the rest of them. How much does that even take? Forty four. Forty four magnum. I should have known that. All right, let's try my new, my newly gained abilities of sneaking around. It didn't even fucking wink at me. All right, I think I'm beginning to know. Oh, come on, Kate. Fucking idiot. All right. I think I'm beginning to realize that I kind of like the... Potato blossom. Potato flower. Well, I kind of like the self build. Mm-hmm. Security's too tight. Sure. I'm getting into that. Forty-five rounds. 
Wish that you could make it to where the Magnum could shoot shotgun shells. That'd be fucking awesome. And it would make getting... Uh... Whatchamacallits a lot easier. Ammo. Can't brain right now, I'm kinda tired. That's that place that, uh, I don't know, how the, okay. How the fuck did this happen? Oh shit! Okay, I made it flinch. Oh fuck, I forgot they can burrow. One shot, it's one shot. Fuck out of here. And that is how you destroy a severely higher leveled opponent. Well, not necessarily higher level, but that they would have killed me. If I wouldn't have, like, jungle gymmed them, those motherfuckers. Excuse me? Let me guess, someone stole your sweet roll. Three or eight rounds. And cram. You looking to buy some cram? Oh no, they got you too. Did the rad scorpions do that? Used. I want to take this eyebot out. You guys explode, don't you? That military grade circuit board. I will never pass up on a military grade circuit board. Because the robot DLC eats circuit boards like candy. Fire lurk.
make it one of my main goals to turn off to go out of my way to turn off a oh shit yeah. permanently unlock new decorations new decoration items and workshop settlements huh that's pretty cool so now I got some new items to look forward to the next time I go home Hold. Leaving me behind. Let's go. It's your funeral. Think you can unlock that? I'll get it done. This one might be rough. Don't get your hopes up. Hands up, bitch. Damn! This lock's pissing me off. Lockless. Someone or something is killing me. Oh shit. Also, some of the only enemies in the game that carry around the automatic weapons. Is before or after I? Build the rat scorpions. This is way fucking before. Damn. Ah, fuck it. I'm just about to... Do a complete loop. End of the line. Fuck. Now you can probably see why my weapon of choice is my sniper rifle. Come on. Who's that vertebrae? Hello. Hey, stop shooting at them. What the fuck was that? Did I actually hit the vertebrate pilot? Town over there. I think this is where those gunner conscripts are. Unless. Wait, I think I already passed over them actually. Where's the car tree? Word. Oh, I don't quite have it.
I don't know. If... Yeah, they're there. Okay. And let's quick save after that because I have to grab all the loot again. Hey, at least he actually has clothes on this time. They're still on the ground, but at least he still has clothes on. Polymer, anybody? What is that? This is that one. Quick save. Uh-oh. At least somebody doesn't want us up here. More blood spatters. Yeah. Rather be off murdering our pints. This will do. Oh, I think because I was crouched, that grenade bouquet didn't go off. Maybe one more trap. Oh wait, no, it's because I upgraded my sneak. I won't, uh, I won't set off traps anymore. Oh shit! That's what this thing does. Shit. 
shut up. How do I get down now? Making me feel like a jilted lover. I don't know if death claws are part of hearing or not. Shit, they're not. They're not. Okay, so, note to self, not equipped enough, sneak around a death claw. For future reference, do not try to sneak around death claw. Yeah, I have to be back here for a mission sometime. I just want a whack ass lawnmower. Oh, okay. This place is off limits. Move along. Okay. How do I get out? Do a series of jumps. Not do a series of jumps because I suck ass at, at parkour. There we go. This is private property. You're trespassing on private property. Better move along or else. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm leaving. Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Yeah, yeah, another drill. Now you're starting to piss me off. Floor with you. I 
hit one. Oh, I just turned it into a texture. Oh no. Oh no. They're modeled. They're already. Each. Looking. Oh shit, they're a little bit out of the border, the world. Found you. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Can you please? What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Sorry. I have this habit of running straight towards signs of trouble. Come to think of it, that explains a lot. A good Samaritan? Fine. I'm out of options anyway, if you want to hear about it. My daughter is missing. It all started with this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive, and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Let's talk money. Investigations for the missing aren't cheap. I am not going to barter over my daughter's life. Your fee is going to be 300 caps. Take it or leave it. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. What's that?
enough to keep me busy. There's something else in here. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again. But there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it. Or something. Like she usually does. Someone made contact with her. And then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife said she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers? I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Rei. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Anything more you could tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. All this walking's wearing me out. Excuse me, Mr. Nakano. Did you have any more questions? Anything to help you? Excuse me, Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. I'd shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. 
But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. No, it's nothing. I don't want to distract you, Detective. Tell me about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be... overprotective. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. We both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Nothing else right now. Multiple cat. Picture. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people out there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then... They started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go. up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter's human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Are you sure she's human, Mrs. Nakano? Yes. I know my daughter, and she hasn't changed. She's not some replacement. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, detective? I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. 
Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze, but that's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Bar Harbor? She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system, and it is built for distance. A magic boat ride? Will there be sea monsters? Uh, while I know the seas aren't exactly safe, I am confident the boat can get you there unharmed. At least, I hope. Before you go, here's the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. Well, I guess I'm gonna... What level am I? 13? Fuck it, I guess I'll go to Far Harbor. Okay. 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 Like that you can actually move on the ship, unlike in the Elder Scrolls 5 when they very much could have made it to where you could move. But no. Welcome to Far Harbor. Far Harbor is built entirely on a coastal pier. I'll just imagine that Kate is sleeping behind this thing because I can't see through it and that um, she'll be here. I arrive. Oh, wait, I think that's the other boat. Oh, I don't know, there's a few other boats. This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? I need information about a synth refuge on this island. Ah, another Commonwealth traveler looking for Acadia, then. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hull, stranger. Don't scan the hull! Something's out there! Sure, you saw something. This ain't a drill. Eyes peeled, everyone. Gate. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. Mariner, there's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gopher, oh, God, defend yourselves. Frog.
Do I have any bullets in this at all? No, I don't. Fuck. Oh, while well, I'm doing this. A legendary, if you've never played this game, is guaranteed to spawn during this event. I forgot that these things throw goo. very many. A shit weapon to get such a nice uh hang on. Death claw hide? Ask. Avery, and now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. <sighs> Damn, this DLC pays really well. to survive despite all that you must be tough <laughs> ornery more like i just i'm done cowering behind your damned hull avery it's time you let me deal with the real problem with the right people and my guns i can end those children of adam cultists for good the fog's been here forever the children didn't make it before the rat eaters came the fog was under control they come and it all goes wrong it's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Sounds like you should deal with the children of Adam. Permanently. The mainlander sees the sense in all this. I will do everything in my power to keep the peace here. So go, Alan. Sorry for all that. You're headed for Acadia, right? Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. I don't need a guide. I don't recommend going it alone. If you change your mind, best place to look for Longfellow is the bar, the last plank. Before you do that, though, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. 
And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Well, dig in and hold this position. There we are. Hey, point out what you need and I'll can I help? Your thoughts? I'm not superstitious, but seeing that ship fly overhead give me the chills. I don't think anything good can come from this. Not one bit. What are your thoughts on our relationship? You know where you're headed and you've got me back. That's the kind of person I like to be with. Nothing else I needed. Sure. And the mainlander. Mainlander? Mariner. She wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner, shipwright, handyman. I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. Town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. Huh. But there is. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools, specialized tools, and they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps? The pay is what the pay is. Are you in or out? Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. Great shop's got everything you need. Alan? Huh. The mainlander. Great. You helped us on Mariner's Hull, but we didn't need it. This is our island. Our fight. Not yours. I'm not here to pick a fight. You just don't understand. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. But there's one exception. That is, if you meant what you said to Avery about the children of Adam. Anyone willing to put those bastards down? I'll sell my top shelf ordnance too with a smile. Show me what you got. Let's deal. Shit. Walk through it. Have fun with me. I don't have anything that shoots 50 cal. Harpoon. <laughs> It's double damage if the target's health is at full. Does that count as a launcher? Or a... I don't know what that counts as. Air trap? Huh. Yeah, I feel like the cryolator would be really good here. But I forgot to grab that from 111. Oh. Shitload of missiles. A fucking spear. Kind of funny looking. Automatic or yeah.
That was all I need for right now. 45 bullets. Oh, they're boiling it. I mean, I guess. That's actually a really neat idea. Hey then, you're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, cause this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd, I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Cut the bullshit, and just tell me what you need. Huh. Sounds like someone forgot to pack a sense of adventure when they got on the boat to Far Harbor. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. Mrs. Dalton, you're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, cause this island sees and hears every- I shouldn't- Sorry, but I'm not real big on stories. You must not be- Cassie, you're that mainlander who just got here. I shouldn't- Sounds interesting. I thought my- It- The- uh, With the string- I don't wanna hear. Let me guess. Ah. Uh, no. Whatever. He was out anyway. Cool. Enough. That was cool. God. Okay. So she just wants me to kill ghouls. She could have just said that. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia? Hell yeah. There was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Trust me, I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. If that's the way you choose to live, that's your affair. Listen, if you're dead set on this foolishness, get me a bottle of whiskey from the bartender, Nick. Until then, we're done. Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya.
Thanks for the free drink. Look at you with all your mainland niceties. So, drink up. Stay here over long and the fog will claim you. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? I could use a drink. Plenty of selection. Suits. Hey there. You got my whiskey yet? Here you go. Ah, now you're talking. I can get you to Acadia, but you got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, rad X and the like, and then the real work can begin. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. Oh, I think she likes you. Here, kitty. Where? That? Oh, he on the table. Down your worries and cheap booze. <laughs> Look at him. Cab. Tink. Tink the cat. Think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks, mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to win. Yeah. Fusion cores everywhere. I'll be able to use my the shit out of my power armor. Okay. So hunters apparently are going to be using hunting weapons. So probably be a Good way to get most of my 
Screw your weight back. I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far harbor woman out of you. <laughs> See, the fog can go a number of ways. Get you all turned around. That's something in your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with. Stick to the deep fog. Best we steer clear. But you never know. When I was a young lad, no higher than you and me, whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Someone or something else here. This is a part of the job I look. What? Game just crashed. That's fucking balls. Alright, well, on that note. I'm gonna end in my stream. If you're watching this in the future as a VOD, uh, please be sure to follow if you haven't done that already. I try to stream as often as I can. And uh, if you go to uh, no name the No Name Nerd store, you can design your own 
uh, esports gaming jersey and use code Mooney the Vampire at checkout for ten percent off. And as always, thank you guys for watching my stream and watch this guy.